for you, buddy, everyone. Um, we are going to present our organization. It's called Learning by Making. We are Anaïs, Valeria, Daphne, and me, Damaris Palomé. Today we talk about uh, Jose. Jose is a student. He is 17 years old. Jose wants to enter to the university because he wants to study nurse. Uh, Jose feels sad because uh, he doesn't have good, good grades. Uh, he study every day. Uh, he put all uh, her, his uh, efforts, but he doesn't. He can see uh, good outcomes. One day, Jose went to the hospital uh, in an internship because he wants to uh, know how the hospital works. And uh, Jose um, uh, understands the topics. Jose uh, knows what people do. So this is a good example about there are different ways to learn. Jose doesn't uh, learn a uh, seat reading a book. Uh, but Jose study and learn when he do the act. So inspired by that type of cases, um, we create our organization that is called Learning by Making. Um, we know that there are so many types of learning, like kinesthetic, visual, and auditory. Kinesthetic is like learning by making things. Visual is learning like watching how do you do the things and auditory is listen is learning by listening um, so we want to provide a non-traditional way to learn and um, also we are thinking in the persons that need some different strategies to learn that are not implemented in schools or college or jobs so we want to do that so through art we teach to these people like biology, science, and topics about health, like physical and mental health. So where is the goal? The goal is to give the opportunity to learn in a different way, in a non-common uh, way. Uh, we also want to give the opportunity to learn to people who can't pay uh, this class because this is a non-profit uh, company. So the structure of our organization is that we have uh, too many range of age so in that way we can provide courses that are um, like good for the capacities and abilities and the interest to these people and um, also we can be careful about how we present the content of every topic to the people um, to people also <laughs> we we want to um, promote the leadership so for the people that is older in our organization they can make like a training program to be an instructor in the future of every course that we have. Well the people who work here are mainly the big three artists, teachers and uh, health workers but also the this organization accepts everyone who wants and have the ability to teach and learn about different ways like art and healthcare. So it's a really open organization where we accept everyone and we don't have any type of discrimination. You ha only have to have the ability and you have the want you really want to want to help the other people. Other people. So how the company works? Uh, we have uh, four important points. Uh, the first is uh, this is a, a non-profit company, so you can participate uh, for free or you can pay uh, a volunteer fee. Um, the classes are about a health topic, a science and biology, and uh, that we have we talk about that there are uh, different ways ways of learning, uh, but in this company we, we focus on three, in um, kinesthetic learning, auditive learning, and visual learning. 
And finally, uh, this, uh, this company is for all people. There are classes uh, for people of different age. We have classes for kids, for adolescents, for a young adult, for adult, and for people who is uh, 60 years or more. So in conclusion, um, you go to the company, your, uh, you, get, you get your class, and it will be depending on your type of learning. So about financing, um, besides the money that people can pay voluntarily, we can finance our company or organization by collaboration with the sponsors that provide us money and art materials to people that is with us. So some examples are Paul Castell, Crayola, and Estabilo. Um, also, once a year we have a big event um, where the people can show their pieces of art and their projects and they can sell this project to other people to raise money to the organization. Um, and also the sponsor can come to this event, so in that way they can show to their audience that they are doing good things to the people that is interested in art and also they are like paid for the learning by other people and in a not traditional way so okay in the way of leadership structure organization uh, we firstly we have to think uh, and have to do a training to our collaborators and teachers and students because we have to know that our teachers have uh, have to teach or have to um, have to know how they can teach others and the students how they can receive the information to apply to their mothers and we have to train our collaborators because uh, the big brands uh, have to know uh, what are we what are we doing or what we are doing in in the during of the year and they like in sports it's the analogy uh, in sports, uh, we have to prepare people to to play a big champion uh, or a big champion, like do the same. And uh, people, uh, they also they also have to have a training for teach. And uh, the next case study uh, in this organization is uh, we have four people: Sarah, Rose, Matthew, and Sammy. And Sarah is an old woman, and Sammy is a teenager. And they are both uh, in this organization to learn how to learn in, in a better way. And they have to do a teamwork for a final project. And Matthew is her teacher, is his teacher, and no, is their teacher, their teacher. And Rose is the director of, a, of an area of, a, of the organization. And, and what is the problem here? The problem here is Sarah and Sammy didn't have a teamwork. And this is awful because uh, it's taking weeks and to try working and doesn't happen. All right. Matthew didn't know how to solve the situation. And this is a big problem because maybe it lasts about, uh, two or three weeks and they are doing nothing. And um, also Sami has a negative stereotype of Sarah because she, she is an old woman and she thinks uh, she, she doesn't or she can't work because she is old, she is responsible, she is a smart structure and Sami is more clever, uh, it's, uh, it's spontaneous, it's malleable and this is a bad stereotype to, uh, to Sarah and what the attitudes attitudes of Sami uh, influence or kind of have a bad uh, feel on or about Sarah because Sami says that oh Sami the attitude bad attitude of Sami uh, makes Sarah feel bad because she thinks that she can't do anything, she feels stupid, and that's it's a bad move. 
Um, we have to think about cultural intelligence. Um, how we are learning, culture is dynamic, culture is learned, systemic, cultural is symbolic. And we have to, uh, to have this in our mind to think about the problem and solve the problem. And as a good leader, Rose, and that is the director, Rose uh, had to set in directions to the teamwork, uh, it's a, a good end. Uh, and she has to develop a future for them. And she has to, to be step by step for their teamwork. And she has to, uh, have to have a strategic, a strategic vision for them. And she has to be motivated because she is like a role model for Sarah and Sami. And she has to demonstrate that. And she has to be a spring person for them. And in the last point, um, uh, we have um, some methods. <laughs> we have some methods to think on how solving this problem. And we can applicate the three study strategies of metacognition, motivation, and behavior. Like, uh, we have to think about the problem. We have to, to act in post of the uh, the up, the move, and we have to do the, we have to be, or we have to have maybe self-efficacy, and we we can see the Matthew have a low self-efficacy and Rose have a high self-efficacy, and we have to be conscious uh, of our uh, behavior to how we demonstrate our our attitudes to the others. Well. Here, uh, we are hard, here we have the cultural intelligence model, the ABCD. So at first, we have acquired. In here, uh, in the case, Rose knows about the problem, she knows about the Sami attitude, and she knows how uh, she has to uh, make her understand the, that the different persons exist and the different ways to learn exist. Also, Matthew knows about uh, how he knows how to recognize the environment, knows uh, uh, to ask to help to Rose, and at last, uh, Rose, no, Sammy, uh, have the how to learn how and experience as the younger person uh, thinks his life to make her understand the uh, another view of life as Sarah. With this, uh, with all of this, we have to build and a strategy. Uh, Rose uh, have to make Sami understand uh, about Sarah's way to learn and make her understand that her attitude is not really good and is gonna uh, make her feel bad and make her have a really bad per perception of herself. So Rose have to uh, uh, teach Sami about Sarah. Also, she have to work with Sarah about the way she learned and try another method, but also try to make her understand that even if she is slower, she does, it doesn't mean that she is stupid or she is not uh, in a really good way to, uh, she is not capable to learn. In that way, uh, we have contemplate. Contemplate, uh, in contemplate, uh, at first we have Matthew who is awareness about the situation and he knows how to, uh, and who uh, ask for help to solve the problem. Then Rose knows about the both problems, but is uh, she knows that they gonna uh, solve the problem, and she give get guide uh, them to solve them, but she doesn't for any of them, like Sarah or Sammy, to uh, act as the way she thinks. And at least we have to do. Sarah have to know and have to understand that she is uh, an older person, but that doesn't mean she can't uh, learn. She uh, learned slower and probably have to uh, deal with another person than Sami, who worked in a faster way, but that doesn't mean that she's uh, less or she can't. And Sami have to change her attitude because it's affecting Sarah in the way she thinks, in the way she acts, in the way she's gonna uh, act after that because it's a really bad experience for her. And then we, uh, they're gonna have to work together with the bulk of learning, adapt themselves 
to make a really good work together to uh, then where Sami can understand and help Sarah and Sarah can uh, try to learn by Sami about the situation and about the subject that they, they want to learn. Ah, sorry. <laughs> Uh, as all we know, we have, uh, they exist a lot of different ways to see, to understand, and to interact. That um, it can be reduced in a way to think or learn also. So our company works and have a different type of students where we don't discriminate in any way, we do not discriminate in a negative way or in a positive way. We want to everyone is, uh, is have the option to learn what they want to learn in a different ways. And also, uh, we are open to uh, people who is from a different culture, from a different country, from a different, I don't know, gender identity or sexuality. We don't care about that. We only want to help them to learn. And they also uh, can help us to learn about them and help us to, after uh, they teach us, teach other people uh, in a better way so they can feel comfortable and everyone can feel comfortable and learn in a better way to everyone. So that's our organization. <laughs>